In this video, I'm going to show you how to play your Wii games on your Wii U using USB Loader GX. This is on the virtual Wii. For this tutorial, you'll need your homebrewed Wii U, which if you haven't done that, I'll link a video in the description for my Wii U modding playlist. You'll need the SD card that you use to mod your Wii U. You'll need a USB drive to hold the Wii games and you'll need a computer to get the files. So let's get started. Click on the link in the description and it'll take you to this Wii guide that has USB Loader GX and then you're just gonna click on USB Loader GX and it should download. And for this you'll need an extraction software. I use WinRAR, it's free. Let's open up our SD card and open up the USB Loader file for WinRAR. Go into the apps and then drag the USB Loader GX app into the apps folder on your SD card. Close that window, go into your apps and you should see that USB Loader GX is in there and has these files. So that's everything done on the SD card. Let's pull it out and we'll put our USB stick in. Once you have your USB drive in, right click, click on pop properties and make sure it's FAT32. And then just go ahead and click new, create a WBFS folder. This is where you're gonna store your games. If you're coming from any of my Wii tutorials, you'll probably have a few games already. And it's the same process as that. We're just gonna put the games inside this folder and then plug it into the Wii U. So open it up and I'm gonna bring my, get my list of backed up Wii games. Now I'm just gonna do Wii Sports. I'm gonna drag it in to this folder. And then I'll just, I'll bring another game over as well. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to get the Wii games in this video, but I will show you how they need to be set up. If you wanna know how to get them, go into the link in the description and there's a video on that. So how the Wii games need to be set up is if you open it up, you need a WBFS file with the game ID as the title. If you don't know how to get the game ID, go to Google and just look up your game, Wii Sports Game ID, and it should be the first tab on game tbd just make sure it's the right region like so and rsp you can just copy get out and then paste it and the folder that that file needs to be in it doesn't matter the name of it but it needs the game id in brackets like so you can also do this through wii backup manager but i already have all these games from my original wii so it's just a lot easier to drag them and also an important thing to note is if you're going to be playing these Wii games, which obviously you're going to want to play them, you need to have D2, D2X CIOS installer. If you followed my Wii U homebrewing tutorial, you'll already have this set up, but if not, just go check out that video and make sure you get CIOS installer so you can play your games. And that video also includes the patched iOS 80 installer for the virtual Wii. But anyways, your USB drive should just look like this, have WBFS folder with your games, and we're ready to go over to the Wii U. I'll meet you there. Once you get onto your Wii U, it's going to give you this prompt. It's just saying that there's a USB storage device in there and it's not set up for the console, but we're going to hit cancel. The only time you do this is if you're going to be using Wii U games on it. So we don't have to worry about that. An important thing to note is when you're using USB drives, there is a compatibility list because some of them don't work or some of them cause issues. So I will also link that in the description so you can take a peek. And if you do run into any issues with the USB drive, then you may have to get a different brand. But anyways, let's go to the virtual Wii. And once you're here, go to the homebrew channel, start it up. And again, this won't work if you haven't run D2X CIOS installer, so make sure you do that before you're wondering what's wrong, why you can't play your games. And then load up USB loader. And there we go. If your games aren't showing up, just double check, go to the, this icon, and make sure Wii Games is checked up, checked on. I'm just going to uncheck NAND channels as well. Now I didn't put this part in the video, 
but the first time I did this, I had an issue. I had my USB stick for Wii U in it, and because there was two plugged in at the same time, it caused some issues. So I took the Wii U games one out, and just put the Wii one in, and still, my games didn't show up. So I tried restarting my Wii, I switched the port that the USB drive was plugged into, and now it works. So if it doesn't work the first time, try a couple different things, and hopefully it'll work. If you are going to use an external hard drive, you need a Y splitter cable because of a power issue. The Wii U doesn't power it up, so it won't even be able to read it. But let's open one of these games and double check that it works. Looking good. And there we go, we're on Wii Sports. Just like that, you're playing Wii games on your homebrewed Wii U. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you found this helpful and you're now playing your Wii games, make sure to give it a like, comment if you have any issues. Nice oh, that's a nice shot. shot. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Oh, yes. Oh, that was close. No! no. Just tap it in. No! I'm done. I'm done. I'm not playing it.